Hello you guys, we've reached a thousand subscribers and as YouTube put it, it's bananas. Thank you for your support, we're trying to improve our digest every week and hope you like them. So let's get to news already. Tesla Tesla shared its first quarter results. The company produced 77,000 cars and delivered 63,000 which is not that much comparing to last quarter, when Tesla delivered almost 91,000 cars and produced 86,500. The company says it's because they've started deliveries in Europe and it's been difficult. At the end of the quarter, 10,600 vehicles were on their way to customers and will be delivered in the second quarter. However, this is still 110% more than during the same period last year. After the report, Tesla's stock fell. And as you can see, Tesla sold just a few of its Model S and X cars. Electric believes that the reason is expected changes in those cars' lineups. Both the hardware upgrade and the refresh planned for this summer. A lot of people are waiting for the third version autopilot computer and for the details on Model S and X charging on Superchargers V3, since Tesla still hasn't confirmed the charge rate for these cars. What do you think? Is it that the customers are waiting for updates, or maybe it's that Model 3 sales interfere with the sales of the more expensive cars? After this news, there were rumors that in the near future, Tesla expects to upgrade the Model S and X motors with the permanent magnet motor that is installed in the Model 3. Let's talk about upgrades some more. Tesla said that the new autopilot computer already went into production, but it's not clear. Do they mean they've just started producing the computer, or do they mean they're already installing it in the cars coming off the conveyor belt? Tesla invited investors to the event in Palo Alto on April 22nd. It's there that the company will show off the capabilities of the new computer and talk about their plans for a service called Tesla Network that is supposed to become a competitor to Uber and Lyft. Musk shared that this is what a Model 3 interior camera is for, in case when you're asleep and your car works as a taxi driver for you and something happens, you'll always be able to get a video. By the way, Musk said that the autopilot will definitely receive the ability to avoid potholes on the roads. And now, the entire Tesla fleet is receiving Navon autopilot that doesn't require driver's input. But there is a catch. A group of Chinese white hackers that has already hacked Tesla's twice did it again. Tesla allowed Autopilot to recognize abnormal lanes, those that were partially erased, for instance. This is exactly what led to discovering the vulnerability. At first, hackers blurred patches on the left lane line, but to no avail. Then they painted three tiny squares in the traffic lane to mimic merge striping and cause the car to veer into oncoming traffic in the left lane. Tesla keeps increasing Model 3 power. The company is working on an update that will be released in the next few weeks. It will allow all Model 3s to maintain a high level of power and torque at high speeds for a longer time. It will also increase the maximum speed of the Model 3 performance from 155 to 162 miles per hour. Tesla service centers in Texas are safe. Texas is one of the states where Tesla still has no right to sell their cars directly to customers, but the language of the last bill suggested that the company's service centers could also violate the law. If the bill passed, dealers could sue Tesla and would most likely win. The company proposed changes to the bill, but they were rejected. Now, after thousands of Tesla owners stood up for the company, the senator agreed to change the language of the bill. There has been a controversial situation with a service center in Calgary. An employee of the center sent a letter to the local Tesla Owners Club on behalf of all the employees, saying that they were fired without a warning. I thought that we owed it to you to let you know," he wrote. In response to a request Electric made, Tesla said that they've fired several employees. One of the workers complained about their inappropriate behavior, and as a result of the investigation, they were fired. We will not tolerate such behavior at Tesla, says the company. 
Elon Musk said that Tesla will give owners the opportunity to watch videos if the car is parked and connected to Wi-Fi. This will allow you to watch movies while your car is charging at a supercharger station. Musk also promised that over time, Wi-Fi will work on all of the company's charging stations. Tesla and Fiat Chrysler have pulled their fleets in Europe. There are slightly different rules on the old continent than in America. In the US, companies that produce electric cars get credits for cars that do not produce harmful emissions. They can later use those credits to produce ICE cars. Tesla often sells its credits to other companies that do not have their own or don't have enough. In Europe, the system is different. You can pull your parks. Tesla offered other automakers to use its large fleet of electric vehicles, and Fiat Chrysler accepted their offer. Neither disclosed the financials of the deal, but presumably we're talking about hundreds of millions of euros. Sentry mode outdone itself this week. Tesla recorded a video of a woman scratching the Model 3 door with a key intentionally. The owner of the car brought the video to the police and she's been arrested. Also, thanks to Sentry Mode, there is a recording of the thief smashing the Model 3 window. The suspect was arrested. And while we're waiting for Tesla to announce their plans for Tesla Semi production, the Semi brought Model X to its owner and came to the Gigafactory in Nevada. And these are the first photos of the Tesla CCS adapter. Technical details and when the adapter will be available is unclear. And judging by this video, Gigafactory 3 construction is going very fast. SpaceX Starhopper hopped. Since it was tied down, the hop was more of a Raptor engine test. It worked for about 3 seconds. The test was successful and no problems were identified. Later, Starhopper made another hop, although it was tied down again. The engine burn lasted about 1 second. And this is how SpaceX prepared Falcon Heavy for its static burn that went well. The ArabSat 6A launch was to take place on April 10th, which means by the time this digest comes out, it already happened. We hope it went well. This is the first Falcon Heavy Block 5 launch. The maximum thrust is almost 10% higher than during the first launch. Barishet Lander, that was launched on Falcon 9, sent the first photos of the Moon, taken at an altitude of 290 miles above the satellite surface. The landing of the first private lander is scheduled for April 11th. Elon Musk The judge made a decision in a dispute between the Securities Commission and Elon Musk. Judge Nathan decided that the parties should come to an agreement themselves and gave them two weeks to do so. They will have to cooperate and present a joint decision to the court. Elon Musk is pleased with the decision, but it's unclear how the commission feels about it. According to Bloomberg, Tesla board of directors launched an internal investigation because Elon Musk assaulted the former employee. It happened in September last year. The employee of the store that was fired the day before came to the office to say goodbye to his former colleagues. There, he ran into Musk, who began shouting insults and threats against him and promised to destroy him if he harmed the company. According to witnesses, after that, he allegedly lightly bumped him, blocking and pushing the former employee towards the exit. According to preliminary findings, there were no physical consequences, but there is still nothing on the insults front. And that's all for today. As always, thank you for watching our videos. Don't forget to let us know what you think about Model S and X sales in the comments below. We'll be back with more news next week.